Well, to be to be fair, um, the carbon tax was really um, proposed first by uh, my the co-recipient with me in the Nobel Prize, Bill Nordhaus. But I certainly support the carbon tax. And the thinking here is that this is a tax we want people to avoid paying. We're taxing something we don't want them to do. And so if they figure out ways not to do it, we don't collect the tax revenue, they don't have to pay, but we don't get the harms to the, to the environment. So that's the real insight of the carbon tax. Don't think of it as a way to raise, uh, raise revenue. Think of it as a way to create incentives for people to find all these clever ways to avoid paying the tax by developing entirely new uh, en energy systems. Now, in a global context, um, if one country imposes a heavy uh, tax on carbon, especially out in the future, that creates incentives to innovate and discover new things to sell in that country domestically, but it creates in incentives for other countries to innovate to sell in that country as well. So every country does a service for all the others and can spur innovation and all the others when it says we're committing to taxing uh, carbon in the future and that's creating a market opportunity for anybody who can find a way to give us energy without the, the carbon.